Welcome back, O'Doers. Jose Ignacio here again. Now, today we're going to be talking about some other things, such as, you know, sponsorships. Sponsorships are at the core of any event. But showcasing these sponsors in a virtual setting can be a bit challenging. There's not giant banners. There's not neon signs. There's not really, a, you know, a distinct physical way to do it. So you got to think about it in that way. In a physical space, we can strategically ar arrange kiosks or we could put, you know, things for exhibitors in several different ways. But how do we do that if we're hosting an online-only event? Bads? Well, there's a few different ways. The answer, virtual booths. Companies can use these virtual booths to showcase their brand. They can also chat with visitors. And just like they would do at any in-person event, they could do a few different things. Now, thanks to Odoo, setting up and managing these booths is extremely easy and incredibly efficient. Now, enough chit-chat. Let's jump into our StealthyWood database and so I can show you how all of this works. All right, once again, we'll start things off on the event settings page. Now here, we want to make sure that online exhibitors is enabled. Now with that feature enabled, let's jump to our conference for architects event and make sure that everything works. All right, now, before I begin, though, it should be noted that in Odoo events, the sponsors who maintain and manage an in-person or a virtual booth are known as exhibitors. Good to make that distinction. Now, once that we're in here, you'll notice there is a new smart button on the phone, on the form, sorry, sponsors. Now, inside of here, we don't have a sponsor yet, so let's create a sponsor record from scratch. So we'll click Create, and now we need a name here. In our case... We're going to use the same name, Open Wood Decoration. Our slogan, the best choice in any home. I like putting smiley faces. Now, for our partner, you guessed it. We're going to select Open Wood. And it auto-populates the fields. And that's pretty important. It looks very cool. Now, you can also create a partner on the fly if you haven't actually had a contact card yet for them. Now for the event, the conference for the architects and our sponsorship level. We have three tiers here that we have. We're going to put these guys at gold, a gold standard. And the sponsor type, we are an online exhibitor because as I said, we're going to be testing this. Now you'll notice when I select an online exhibitor, an opening hours field appears. This field represents when the virtual booth will be open to attendees during our online event. Fortunately, Odoo automatically matches the time zone of the sponsor to the event it's connected to, so you don't have to worry about manually entering the time zone. And that right there is a very good thing that Odoo does, because manual things are always not fun. Now below, we have a description, and we also have an online tab. Now, the description tab can be edited like any other section as well. And this is very important because it allows you to, you know, do on-the-fly changes for anything that you like. As you saw, I just clicked in here. We can double-click. We can change stuff all around. We can make it extra beautiful and however we want it to be. Now, as you'll notice in the online tab, we'll have the option to choose the JITs, like the name for the booth, like the language, the max capacity of the virtual booth, and a few other things. Now, the JITSI name for the booth can be pretty much anything that you want it to just appear here. It's an editable field. Language, probably want to pick one that's similar or the same language as yours. And all of this is pretty useful, especially this one right here, max capacity. You don't have too many people in the event that you have stuff to show that could have a limit. Now, it should also be finally noted that when a room reaches its maximum capacity, if a max capacity has been set, a message will be shown to the attendee informing them that the room is full and to check back later. So be sure to keep that in mind. It's also useful if you want stuff to look a little bit, you know, VIP. Get a little wait list going. Now, let's click on the go to website button here. But first, we're going to save manually. We're going to go to the website. We've got to check this out. Now, as you'll notice, it shows us right now our unpublished version of our actual virtual booth. Now, since the virtual booth is on the front end, we need to publish it. So if we hit publish, all it takes because if we don't publish it visitors won't be able to see it and it will be inaccessible to attendees now just like that this is now finally there and everyone has this virtual booth all set up and ready to go 
Now, if it hasn't happened already, you can also quickly add a link to the exhibitors page with just a few clicks from here. All we actually have to do is select edit in the very far top right. And then once that it gives us a quick little load, we're going to select the customize menu options. And as you'll notice from here, you'll need to actually refresh the header menu real quick. So I'll give that a quick little refresh. By the, uh, sorry about that. So once that it refreshes, you can actually toggle the soft menu here for on or off. And this ends up helping us to figure out what we need. And in this case, we actually just select this here. And see, it saves there. And we do it back on. And there we have it. We can see everything now popping up. Now you'll see that we have a fresh link to all the exhibitors in the event page header. And that's pretty useful for all of our participants to visit whenever they please. And that's pretty dang useful. Now, as you can see, Odo Events has truly simplified the entire online exhibitor process, making it super easy for sponsors and attendees to get the most out of any virtual event. That's all for now, Odooers. Thank you for watching, and sorry about the two Odoopsies. I'll see you soon, Odooers. Drop any questions, anything you'd like. Just tell me about your day if you're having a bad or a good day. I'm always listening. Have a great night.